Now the Fox News alert now because we have new polling numbers this morning reveal a majority of Americans are not impressed with what they're seeing in the White House or on Capitol Hill. Shocker. Let's start with the president now. One in two voters telling Fox News they disapprove of the president's job performance. That number jumping now this month to 52%. That ties an all time high for him. Our Brett Baer, anchor of Special Report, with me now. Brett, good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. Uh, what's the drag? Is, is it economic or is it more than that? Well, I think uh, there's a number of things that are dragging on. Uh, the president's approval ratings. Number one is the economy overall, the sense that it's not really chugging the way it should. should. And uh, second is all of the focus on all of these different scandals in Washington. While the White House and others have called them phony scandals, uh, they have resonated with people according to the polls. You know, this 52% matches the highest disapproval uh, back to September of 2010. And you'll remember September 2010 was just a couple months before a big Big loss mm -hmm. in that midterm, and Republicans well, it was picked up the also the time when you know, I mean, you Tea Party rallies everywhere. You know, a lot of people coming out against Obamacare. I mean, that was the time, right? It was, and you're in that time now where lawmakers are heading back. They're going back to these town halls. You're getting ready for the implement implementation of Obamacare, and there's just a lot of questions out there when you talk to people around the country. About what all of this means. And you wonder what they're going to hear from constituents. I mean, look at the other uh, poll we found. What we asked people whether or not Congress deserves a vacation. They're on vacation right now because of the August recess. 82% in our polling say no, forget about it. The president was better, but he was still split 48 to 48. I mean, I, I think historically Americans cut even the president a break and say, you know what, you deserve, deserve some time off, get away from the office. You know, get refreshed and recharge. This is split right down the middle. And the numbers for Congress yeah. are, are just awful. There's a sense that this place is not working, that Washington is not getting it done. Republicans, Democrats, the White House, Congress, they're not working together. 63% of the people polled in this poll think the president should lock himself in a room with Republicans and negotiate in D.C. Instead of traveling around giving speeches. And there's one more thing about the speeches. 71% think that the president's economic speeches, and there have been two big ones in the past two weeks mm -hmm. in Illinois and Tennessee, 71% think it's more of the same and not new ideas. It's important, Bill, to recognize that in these polls, we always ask, how do you identify yourself? In this particular poll, 38% said they were Democrats, 37% said they were Republicans, 23% said they were independents. I see. Wow. That, that, I mean, that crosses all three categories then. You're at 71%. How would the White House defend itself on the traveling economic roadshow of speeches? Well, I think they've said that the president is trying to get out and talk about things that he has been talking about, but in an effort to uh, remind people that this is where his main focus is. That said, there, there really aren't a list of new ideas, and judging by these polls, people just want stuff to get done. Mm -hmm. yeah, they don't well, really you, want to you talk had about that, it. that corporate tax idea that was floated out there. That didn't go very far, did it? Not far at all. That's a big old bouncing lead balloon, I think. That's right. Red, thanks. Good.